<laughs> so much for going off the internet for a while. Howdy folks and welcome back to Making a Fakemon Region! The show where I make a fictional place on the earth, what is based around the earth, and then I make fictional creatures to live on that earth used to battle. Okay? Okay. This episode coming to you straight from the big city! I'm terrified, frankly. Now last episode I perhaps hinted at making a type theme episode where I'd make just a bunch of grass types or water types or fire types, but I think it'd be nice to just kinda make characters based on just things what I feel like would be good at the time. I'll probably do some monotypes at some point, but for now we're doing a certain themed episode. You'll probably know if you read the title. Football! If you've lived on this earth for at least about five minutes, there's a very high chance that you've heard of the sport football, at least soccer. I'm pretty sure it is the most popular sport, and considering it's a region based around all the cultures of Earth, it would be wrong to not include any representation of it at all. I did have some sketches for a football themed Pokemon for a while now, and well, considering it's the Euros, a European football tournament, I frankly forgot it existed until like about a week ago, I thought it'd be a nice little time to do it, even though today is literally the last day of the Euros, I think. But oh well, it's fine, and considering the Olympics is coming up pretty soon anyway, let's start off some sport themed Pokemon, starting with Football. Now, as I mentioned, I actually had a paper doodle of this guy. I always like the idea of there being an armadillo, an animal what you always assume has a hard shell, and make it something what isn't hard. And in this case, well, rubber or whatever football is made out of. I think it used to be pigskin. So it's an armadillo just with a soft shell, and I feel like if there was to be a football inspired mon, as in a literal football, instead of giving literal football with legs, which was a fake mon I did a few years ago, but we've. I feel like we're a little bit better than that. And this speed draw is going to be a little bit different, because instead of me creating a fake one from scratch, as I mentioned, I've already got this on a paper doodle, so I'm essentially going to be kind of tracing over it, or at least enhancing it. I don't know, let's just jump into it. It's very weird converting a paper doodle into a pixel art doodle, because obviously, paper's real life, and there's a lot more freedom in real life than there is pixels. As in, you can do a lot more smaller details, but when you're doing literal pixel art, a pixel is always going to be the size of a pixel. I can't have slightly smaller pixels or slightly larger ones without it looking weird. On paper, you can do very fine little edges and details, which means, well, when converting it, some things did have to get dropped and some things need to be simplified slightly. It's fine, I still like the final product enough. And then there's the whole giving it colours, because on paper, I don't usually colour my paper doodles, so the fact that, well, pixel art it kind of needs a full flesh of paint, it was a bit weird because in my mind it was always the colour of paper. So I kind of use that in its skin colour. I don't know if it still looks too humany or too fleshy. Hopefully not, because it, it, it'll be weird. There was one thing I was sad to see go when the original sketch had little shin pads, but I removed them because, quite frankly, on pixel art, I feel like there would not have been enough room to make it obvious. If I was to ever redraw them, but like better, I'd probably add them back in. But for now, he's shin padless. That's fine. So this little guy is called Armaskillo, a mix between Armadillo and Skill. Skill is a popular term used in football, and well obviously it's skill, you need skill to be a good footballer, I think. I'm gonna be honest, this time last week I still knew nothing about football, it's, it's a very new thing to me. It was a bit weird thinking in my head what role this little guy would play, like... Because he looks like the football, but I don't think he would play the ball, because... Armadillos normally can roll up into a ball, but this guy, his body is the ball. So I feel like I'll be a bit humane to make him the ball. We do have hedgehog bowling in this universe, however, so maybe armadillo football isn't too far out there. Although I feel like this guy's evolutions make it clearer that he's more of the one who plays football and just so happens to also look like one. It's a fictional universe, I can do what I want. I do like the little touch that, although his shell is meant to be a football, it's not 100% accurate to one. I like the idea that it is still just a wild animal at the end of the day, it just so happens to look relatively football-like. But yeah, that's Armaskillo, the pure fighting type I can imagine, because, well, sports usually translate into fighting type. I don't want a sport or a sweat type, so Armaskillo, there we go. Now, I like the idea of this guy having a split evolution line, evolving into two different uh, Fakemon, both inspired by different roles a football team needs. So let's start with the first one, Armaskielder. You can guess what that guy does. The name comes from Armadillo again, uh, Fielder, and Skill again. And a little bit of score. I didn't ever want to name this guy Armour Score. I feel like Armour Skill that sounds cooler to me, but yeah, either way. Now, I really struggled with this design. I feel like that might as well be a catchphrase at this point. I'm not too used to drawing anything relatively humanized. I'm more of a pure cartoony, not realistic kind of guy. But when I try to make an armadillo very humanized, I struggled a little bit. The posing took ages. I still feel like it kind of looks a bit weird. Some limbs look a bit wonky. 
But again, I feel like that's mostly just due to pixel art and the fact that, you know, even if it's just slight pixel off, it looks incredibly off with pixel art. So I feel like there's too many off ones. I feel like it looks fine, but to me it just looks a bit... I need to come back to it at some point later. I mean, I'm proud of the final result. I didn't think I'd ever even get that close to fair. But anyway, enough self-deprecation. Is that the word? I think so. I feel like the way these split evolutions work is that if an army skillo has more speed and attack, it will evolve into this one, and if it gets more defense, it will evolve into the other one. But this is Armour Skilder, a very quick, I like to imagine cocky. I'm getting sort of the Hedgehog vibes from his weird little smirk and weird eye, but still. He's got very speedy, he's got weird little nails on the bottom of his feet, meant to be like studs, but I don't know how anatomically that works. He has very weak arms though, because obviously in football you're not allowed to touch the ball if you're a midfielder, so he naturally just stopped using his arms to the point where they become very noodly and almost useless. I do like how his fat, bulky shell does become a lot slimmer and quicker so he can get a lot more air resistance. I like to think that on the pitch he is like a speeding bullet with his weird little, you know, cone-shaped face. I like to think that instead of just battling like most other Fakemon, this uh, Fakemon legitimately does enjoy the sport of football. Or whatever mad name I'll probably give it in the actual thing. Some Pokemon games do have like sport side games where your Pokemon can then compete in little uh, sport mini games. So maybe this is a football inspired one. I didn't mention this in Armour Skillo, but I'll, I'll mention it here. I'm really proud of how I did the shading for the football back because usually I do a very, I guess, circular type shading where all I do is I typically just draw like a circle of light or darker colour on each side of the sprite. But for the football, I did a bit of a differing effect. It made it look a bit more texturized. I was, I was very proud of it. So yes, this is Armour Skillman. Now a cute little gimmick I thought of this guy, since he is still going to be a pure fighting. I still kind of felt uncomfortable by his final design. I don't know if it's the fact that he still looks a bit too pale and a bit too humanized. I don't know if it seems uncanny to me or whatever. But I felt like it needed a little something. But I like the idea of this guy having an ability, what basically means whatever move he uses last, he also gains that type. But not just in his body, specifically in his legs. You can get fire legs, electric legs, grass legs, and ice legs. Or maybe like all types of legs, but for now, I feel like they're the main four ones. I like to think he'll have a signature move, what is like kick, or whatever his secondary type is, he'll 100% do that effect. So like burn, paralyze, freeze them, or make them go to sleep. Something like that. Plus I just think it gives the sprite a bit more life, because I'm, again, I still feel a bit iffy about both. I do like him, I'm just a bit iffy on him at the same time. But either way, let's go on to the third one, Armor Skeeper. Again, you can probably guess what he does. A mix between armor, not just for armadillo, but also armor, because he's a big beefy boy, and keeper, as in goalkeeper. And skeeper, well, just because it fits in with skillo, skielder, and skeeper. This guy is essentially the opposite of armor skielder, in the sense of he doesn't have as much power in his legs, but he's got giant, beefy, bulky arms, and a massive shell, and just a wide body in general. Um, I did struggle a lot on this body shape, however, despite most of it being a circle, so sadly, I don't have any footage of me actually making this uh, final shape, so you're gonna have to just do it with me colouring in a minute. I do apologise. And again, I'm really proud of how this one turned out, especially with his arms, at the same time that I feel like his head might need a bit of a different placement. I don't know if it seems too off or not. Again, let me know how, what, you, what you think of these guys, because like, honestly, I'm on the fence, because they're very ambitious compared to my other fake designs, and I don't know if that's a good thing or necessarily a bad thing. So yeah, whilst the armor skielders are always on the pitch playing, um, I guess, fakey ball, I'll call it, you know, these are meant to be the goalkeepers. Although defenders are a very important thing in any football game, I like to think that fakey ball can also include a bunch of different fakeymon, but armor skielders and armor skeepers are just some of the favourite ones. So I like to think that defending roles and other um, fielding roles in football can be taken up by different fakeymon. But goalkeeping specifically, armor skeepers you got. I did go a little bit cartoony, I'll admit, so he's got giant stretchy beefy arms where he can easily grab balls with, but at the same time, not too strong legs, so he can't run necessarily fast. Which I wouldn't say is necessarily correct to real goalkeepers, because goalkeepers do need to be very quick on the ball and they're unintended. But I like the idea that this guy kind of moves only sideways like a bit of a crab with his giant beefy hands nipping away from balls. And instead of doing a goalie kick, he just does a massive launch. The throw. I think that'd be fun. I was trying a different pose with him, because why not? I was a bit worried at first, because obviously there is a different quote unquote armadillo slash shrew uh, Pokemon, Sancho and Sandslash. And I was kind of worried that th it, this would end up looking a bit too much just like a beefed up Sandslash. But I'm kind of happy how it doesn't look like him at all. The head does a little bit though. Yeah, but that's fine. But yeah, that's Armor Skeeper, the beefy defenseful evolution to Armor Skillo. And similar to Armor Skilder, he does also have the whole whatever last move he uses, he can use those moves. 
funnily enough though, there is literally Ice Punch, Thunder Punch and Fire Punch, but his main move will be something. Not necessarily punch, because I don't think you can punch in a football game. Maybe something to do with throwing or something, or catching something. Who knows yet? But yeah, these are the three football fake one I've done. However, if you're a football fan, you'll know that's not all there is to it. Although football is a huge part of being a football. There's another side to it. When watching football, I'm only, well, relatively interested. I'm not too big into football, but it's the walk home after your team wins what is quite something. And I think I get why football is so popular now. It's in that split second when your team's about to score and everything just goes numb for that split second. Everything doesn't matter except that one important kick. And it's quite thrilling. And then literally everyone starts screaming and celebrating. And considering, well, spectators are a huge part of the football as well, you know, doing chants, singing, watching, screaming, chanting, or whatever. They're a huge part of football as well. So I thought it'd be cute to just make a little spectator inspired mod. I tried to combine a little bit of everything what most football fans might have to a game. There's usually those red cups that people drink out of, you know, those plastic weird little cups. And I like the idea that there's a speaker on top of the cup, kind of as like a top hat. Not necessarily because people bring boomboxes to games or anything, it is just because, well, they like to sing songs and do chants and make a lot of noise. And then his, you know, his mouth is more of a trumpet horn just to go woo or scream whatever chant he wants to do. I didn't think that'd be his crying game, just a massive woo. Am I getting too into that? Probably. And then his legs are just composed of some, you know, fizzy beverage, you know, foam and bubbles everywhere. He makes a little bit of a mess as he walks along, but he's just having a lot of fun, you know, enjoying watching and everything. I like to think he doesn't just enjoy watching uh, Fakie Ball, but also a bunch of different sports, and including Fakie Mon Battle. When Fakie Mon Battles occur, you know, you can typically hear these guys, you know, running up to them and cheering for their favourite side to win. It was a bit weird making these, because I do have some other Fakie Mon what do typically celebrate and like to dance a lot. You know, you have Considi and Kidapilla what like to find music and dance along to it. You got Pryleon, what's meant to be this giant festival bird. So I tried to make a very specific chanting along to sports thank you more. but I like to think there's a whole crowd that always watches these types of things anyway this little guy's just appeared to be part of it and we don't have any single evolutions in this region yet so I like the idea that this little guy is just a single evolution you know maybe I'll give him one maybe I'll give him a pre-evolution at some point but for now he's just a cute little guy just a little plastic cup trumpet thing I love him this little guy is Woocher a mix between Woo I'm not gonna do the sound again and Bleacher typically where people watch sport games from even though it is a red cup, I like to think that there's like maybe two variants, a red and a blue cup. I didn't make a blue cup, but I just like the idea that, you know, maybe there is two opposing teams. But at the end of the day, it's not necessarily just opposing teams. It's just about, at the end of the day, the game's going to win no matter what team does. So it's just nice to be part of that celebration of it. So yes, that's Woocher. And with that, there's our four football inspired mod. Although none specifically based around any teams or real life cultural events, I just wanted to make a relatively simple overall football inspired mom because football is a huge important part of this world and so are the people who enjoy it. So if you were I was a couple of years ago where you prefer computer games to real sport games, all I'm going to say is keep an open mind. It's surprisingly not terrible. And in a few years time, if they're going to be the ones forced to watch our eSport tournaments or whatever, I feel like the least we can do is throw them a bone and watch a bit of football with them. Or don't. I'm just a random guy you've prob probably never met before, so why take my advice? I don't know. Either way, folks, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in a bit. Probably an actual bit this time. I didn't mean to... Last episode I said I'd go for a while, and now back in a week, but for real, probably... Well, no, because the Olympics start soon, so I'll be back with more sport faking on. I wanted to go, but I might st I'm still going to do the Let's Play videos, don't worry. I mean, if you don't care about it. I'm rambling at this point. Either way, folks, Enjoy the rest of your day, or if you're off to bed, have the sweetest of dreams, and I'll see you all in a bit. Toodaloo. Bye.